Okay guys, welcome to another episode of Convini Quest. Today is a really windy day, but I was excited because I got a message from JD and he said, hey, have you seen this new monster? So we just got a brand new monster flavor here in Japan. And for some of you who have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I like to try all the new monsters that come out. And unfortunately here in Japan, we don't really get a lot of variety. I think right now we have maybe four or I guess maybe this is the fifth um, flavor that we have right now. But this is a brand new flavor. It's called Pipeline Punch. And it says it has 16% juice. It's got an interesting, you know, label on the side here. And it says it's carbonated, of course, and it's an energy drink. And it's 355 milliliters, which is pretty much the standard size that we get here in Japan. One of my friends said that this is his favorite now, so I'm pretty excited to try it. So here we go. Okay. Hmm, yeah, it sort of has a guava flavor, I would say. Um, I don't know, let me know if you have this flavor where you live and if you've tried it. So I just got a cup here left over from one of my adventures with Eric, just so I can show you what it looks like. Yeah, look at it. It's not quite as bright as the can would indicate, but it's sort of this off orange, dark orange kind of color. Mm. And I really, I think I like this flavor. It's pretty good, yeah. Of course, I just ran in there quick so I could try this brand new monster and it gets a thumbs up from me. But, <laughs> you know me, I can't just grab the monster. I gotta try a few other things. So, I also picked up these potato chips that I've never seen there before. They're called Ginger Wild. So there was, there was ginger wild and then next to it there was a garlic wild, but I mean everybody knows what garlic tastes like, so I figured let's try this ginger one. It says it's got a ginger steak flavor, so I'm guessing it's just this sort of ginger sauce, but let's give it a try. It has an interesting smell. I'm not sure if I would go as far as to say it was ginger. Okay, yeah, I'm getting... Sort of like a roasted ginger sort of smell coming up there now. But yeah, they look, they kind of look sort of kettle cooked as well. It says that they're very crunchy and they kind of got that sort of kettle cooked look to them. Here we go. Mmm. Very crunchy. It's kind of a sweet ginger as well. It's not really this overpowering kind of spicy sort of yuck sort of flavor. Okay, so it's like a, a sweet, a sweet and spicy is what they call it, um, ginger sauce um, that goes, you put it on like a pork steak, like a shoga, shogayaki kind of thing, so. Oh. Really, really crunchy. If I was doing an ASMR video, this would be ideal. <laughs> and I got one more thing. I guess it's a kind of dessert, even though it's a sandwich, or like an apple pie, I guess, and strawberry sandwich. So I've had fruit sandwiches before, maybe just once, and I was actually surprised that they were better than I thought they were going to be. But I have not seen the strawberry and apple pie version there, so let's give this a shot. So. This is the strawberry sandwich, and as you may expect, the strawberries are mostly surface strawberries, <laughs> as you can see there, right? Yeah, but it's all about the presentation. Mm. The bread is kind of like a shortcake. It's not though, it's just bread, but because it's, it's a sweet kind of sandwich, you're getting strawberries, cream, and bread that kind of tastes like shortcake, I guess, just because it's sweet. I also see there's like a layer of some sort of pudding there as well. So yeah, 
How does that look? <laughs> there's your apple pie sandwich. Let me get in here. Oh, it looks like there's crust in there as well. Can I open this without making too much of a mess? No, I can see that going on in there. There we go. So there's bits of apple. That's actually crust. And there looks to be some cream in there too. So yeah, they were serious when they said apple pie because it's got, it's not just apples, it's got crust in there too. Yep, that's an apple pie. Definitely. It's got the apple pie spices a little bit. It's got the crust, it's got some cream. It's basically like eating an apple pie. That is totally an apple pie in sandwich form. I guess if you've ever wanted a portable, I guess pie is kind of portable, isn't it? Like McDonald's has apple pies, but yeah, you can just have a have an apple pie. Driving down the road, eating your apple pie. Hmm. There's totally an apple pie. Okay, so there you go. That is the apple pie and strawberry cream sandwiches. Um, Actually, they're really good. If you can find a 7-Eleven, if you're in Japan, go to a 7-Eleven. If you see this and you're thinking, I don't want to eat fruit, that's weird, give it a shot. You'll be surprised. It's actually really good. And I guess the main course was the ginger wild potato chips. I know, not very substantial for a meal. Don't worry, I'll eat something later, but they're actually really good too. Not spicy, um, kind of sweet, and very crunchy. So those are really good. And of course, the reason I came to the convenience store today was to try the brand new Pipeline Punch energy drink, uh, Monster energy drink. And this one totally gets a thumbs up from me as well. One of my Japanese friends said that this was his favorite monster that we have available now. So I can, I can understand that. My favorite, mm, I kind of like the white one or the green one, but I'm starting to think maybe he's got a point there. This is really good. Okay, so there you go, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, and thanks for all the comments and the feedback that you guys leave for me. Um, I think I'm going to finish this off and then head on my way as usual, and I will catch you guys in the next video.